free and easy way to get more out of your champions. Been wanting to make this one for a while. Let's go. What's up guys, MTG Jedi here. Good morning, good day, good evening. I hope today is finding you well. Uh, last night, I was thinking a lot about the gear on my champions. And uh, the thought that I had was basically, gear allows you to add abilities to your champions, okay? For example, Arbiter does healing. So if you put a regen set on her, it doesn't seem like that's adding another ability. But any of these artifact sets that add healing are the same as adding another ability because, for example, um, Duchess does not have any healing. She does not heal herself. She places that shield, but typically not on herself. She places these um, buffs. And then when she revives people, then she can do continuous heal on all allies. So that's like a healing ability, but, it, but not really. She does not do a good job of healing herself. So I actually love her in regen, okay? But there are some other gear sets that are like adding a whole new ability to your champion. And that's what I want to talk about today. Okay. I, yesterday, um, let me see uh, if the Hydra reset actually, and I can get all of my, my chests with you in this video. Yes. Huzzah. So we got top chest in all three of the Hydra... Difficulties? Yeah, that's the word I want to use. All three of the Hydra difficulties. Perfect. Okay. And one thing that you should note from all of this is that all of these chests seem the same. <laughs> when I when I collect them, it they seem the same. There's very little differences. Um, and the same thing goes for the top chest on normal. So if you are just doing normal and getting the top chest, like, you should still feel good about that. If you're just doing hard and getting the top chest, still feel good about that, okay? So, um, real quick, let's come in here and <clears throat> we will look at those gear pieces that we got so you can see for yourself um, that there's really not that that much of a difference okay um, if I scroll down here we have some five-star gear mixed in here we have crit damage with no crit rate but all other good substats we have five-star mythical gear that I am very hesitant to get rid of this one could be ridiculous uh yes please Ooh, we hit flat defense i still think that that's a usable piece still think that's usable resistance eh some of this i will probably sell those are maybe usable boots and then we have some sweet stone skin with resistance myth mythical okay i like it a couple five star pieces will probably sell a decent helmet that one could be okay that one could be okay so you see the more chests you can get the better you will be okay now i think i'm to a point where i can finally sell most of the five star gear um it's taken me a while to get there to where i feel comfortable doing that um i really need speed boots okay mm, those are not great need speed boots with accuracy <laughs> anyway so stone skin would be one of those sets where you can add abilities to your champion okay so let me come in here okay if you're talking about speed gear life offense defense speed crit rate crit damage accuracy resistance 
None of those sets add other abilities to your team. I'm not saying that they're bad. Obviously, some of those are great. Speed is maybe the best set in the game, okay? All I'm saying is that some of these gear sets add extra abilities, like Lifesteal, okay? Like Daze, even though it's not good, okay? Frost is another one. Immunity and Shield are other ones. Relentless is another one. Savage, no. Destroy, no. Stun and Toxic and Taunting all add other abilities, okay? Uh, retaliation and Avenging, yes, but they're not very good. Um, like Reflex Stalwart, those don't add other abilities. Curing Immortal, I mean, Immortal, I guess it does, because it adds a little bit of healing, but I don't consider Cruel an Immortal. None of the Divine Set Swift Parry does. Deflection does. And untouchable is the same as uh, immunity. Bloodthirst, Guardian Dew, Protection, and Stone Skin. Okay. Uh, bolster as well. So you have, you know, approximately 40% of the gear sets that are adding extra abilities. So once you get into the mid and late game, you can start utilizing these sets in end game content like the Hydra to add extra abilities to your team, okay? So if we look at these teams that I used, one of the things that you're gonna notice is I have these gear sets on some of the champions, okay? So, for example, I have two Arbiters. The one that I use in Arena is in all speed gear. The one that I use in Hydra is in Regen, okay? Now she's still pretty quick in Regen, I will say. Um, Krisk doesn't get any extra abilities. He's too stat intensive. However, Inquisitor Shamil was a huge part of my team last night. Okay? These top six champions, this was my brutal team. The second six champions, that was my nightmare team. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Just so you have an example. And adding Guardian here added a whole nother layer of protection that I probably didn't need, in all honesty. I survived till, like, turn 222. So I think that what I really needed was his ability. Um, but it did add a level of survivability that I was surprised about, okay? Geomancer I have in Relentless. And I think Relentless for your damage dealers is just the best bet. For Hydra, I really do. I would like to get my Husk into Relentless, um, but he does need a lot of accuracy and good crit stats. But that's that's one of my next goals is to get Husk into Relentless. And then my I have a, my second Ugo down here is actually in Guardian as well. And for Nightmare, that survivability is very very needed. Very needed. Um, the other Krisk, no. Duchess, we already saw. Nikmo is honestly not a very good build. I know, like, you might be thinking that's pretty decent, but, like, I feel like I could do way better than that. And then this Geo is the one that I use in Iron Twins. I think that I should probably have a different one in Relentless, like this one. I should probably just have a second Geo in Relentless, for my nightmare team. That's what I think. So Geo in Relentless and Husk in Relentless. And actually, I'm going to make a note. Relentless, Geo, and Husk. Because I think that that would help me out a lot of damage. Okay? Especially with, with Geo more so, I guess. No, not really. Definitely just both of them. Okay, so the, the other thing that I wanted to do was compare some gear sets that I put on Inquisitor Shamil. Because I have three different gear sets on him, and everybody always asks me, how do you build Inquisitor Shamil? And so I think he's the perfect example of a champion that you want to utilize a gear set to give him another ability. Because oftentimes it feels like he doesn't do enough on his own. Especially if the head of torment, like the especially if the fear head disappears, then it really feels like he's doing nothing. So um, that first one you already saw in Guardian. Okay. 
The, the next Shamil was very popular originally, and that is in Toxic Set, okay? Now, I also try to build resistance and or accuracy into my Inquisitor Shamails, and that's another aspect of champions you can build in as well. Um, adding resistance just helps them not get debuffs, right? And it also, um, for Shamail particularly, he has this passive um, to... Is it on his passive or is A1? 50% um, chance of decreasing the duration of a random buff by one turn on his A1. So if you put accuracy on him, some at least, he gets a billion attacks. So he has a good chance of removing uh, buffs. This uh, Shamail is the one that if I'm going to use it, I use him on hard, so you don't need nearly as high of accuracy, but I think, oh no, I still have a resistance banner, that's the other Shamail. So I could probably put more accuracy on him if I wanted to, okay? So Toxic Set, what it does is it fills up the debuff bar, and so then, he, then that Fear Head can't get decrease defense or weaken so it survives longer that's the theory of uh, of toxic plus it adds a little bit more damage to some of the other heads now the other shamale is in taunting okay and i really only use these two in hard now because i i mean i i don't really have a need for my nightmare team because i have duchess in there so, as much as I love Inquisitor Shamail in Hydra specifically, it's one of my favorite things to do in the game. I think that I don't really need all three of them anymore. Originally, when I was doing normal and then two keys on hard, I built three. Uh, and then I was doing normal, hard, and brutal, okay, where I needed all three. But now, two is probably fine. Um, I could probably even get away with just one. But... They are all built completely differently, right? We have this one in Guardian. So his extra ability is going to feel very different than the taunting one or the toxic one. But all of them have their merits. And depending on what team you're running him with would depend on what additional ability you want to add to him, right? And obviously we could add other ones as well. Um, I think those are the three that I would probably focus on. I don't, I don't know what other one you would add that would actually help out your team very much. So those are the, really the three options. And of course you can just build him with stats and no extra abilities. Um, if you're doing that, I recommend resistance, accuracy, and survivability, but you can see like, a lot of, well, yeah, these two are not very fast, and this one in the taunting set is actually a little bit fast. So, speed is not necessarily important for Inquisitor Shamail, it's his kit that's what's important. So I hope I've, hope I've kind of figured all of that out and added some value to your thought process. Uh, and Blessings is another layer of that. Um, I specifically put not blessings in the thumbnail because this video is not about blessings, but blessings is another layer on top of the gear sets, okay? And that's another way to add, uh, I wouldn't say add skills, but add value to your team, okay? Uh, the, I guess like the brimstone is just more damage, cruelty is more decreased defense, so I don't really think that the blessings add additional skills, but they do add additional value, okay? And I think your Hydra team is a great place to use this concept because you're, you're in that fight so long that it matters more, okay? But anyway, let me know what you think in the comments below, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. I feel like there's some big announcement coming from Polarium, so stick around i don't know if i'll have time to make a video but uh 
if they announce it at a good time, I'll, I'll certainly do that. But yeah, definitely subscribe to the channel, hit the like button, let me know what you think about this in the comments below, and I'll see you guys in the next video.